Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remote desktop connection or RDP from Windows into your CentOS 7 server. Okay, so there's a couple of repos that we need to make sure we have set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste these in. I'll leave a link below where you can get all these links and commands so you can just copy and paste them into your own CentOS machine. So let me just get started here by pasting this link in. So this is the Apple repo and I'm just going to make sure I have it enabled and I'm going to hit enter here. Oh, I need to put in sudo first so let me hop back up here. So sudo rpm minus capital U V H and then the link to the Apple repo and I'll click return. And we can see here I have it already installed. Perfect. So if you haven't got it installed, it will just install for you here. So the next one I'm going to paste in is the Nux repo. So let me just paste this in and I have my sudo here again. Very important that we have that. And we can see I already have that installed. Perfect. So we have the two repos that we need installed. Okay, so next we need to get the XRDP desktop installed. So to do so, I'm just going to paste this command here in here so it's sudo yum minus y with just yes install xrdp and tiger vnc server so let's just hit enter and run this command and it should go off and fetch what we need so i might just pause the video while this is running perfect so we can see that has installed for us so now i'm just going to enable the service by typing in sudo systemctl start xrdp.service let me just change this to a lowercase s perfect and we've done that now okay so we're really getting there now so now we just need to ensure that we have the firewall rules that we have that will allow us to rdp in so i'm going to type in sudo and i just have another command on the clipboard here so firewall hyphen cmd permanent zone public and the port that we need open to allow us to rdp in so I'm just going to click return on that and hopefully that will work for us and we have a success. So now we just need to reload the firewall. So let me just copy and paste this in. So sudo and then paste it here. Firewall hyphen cmd space dash dash reload just to reload the firewall for us and that has also worked there. Okay, so there's two final commands that we need to run. It's just to configure SE Linux. So I'm going to type in sudo and let me just paste this in here, the first one. chcon type bin and then user sbin xrdp and I'll hit return on this. That looks good. So just one last one here again and I'll copy and paste this and just be sure to put my sudo in first and I'll paste this in and I'll hit return and that all looks good for us there. Okay, so this is all looking good for us. So what I want to do is just confirm the IP address of my machine. So I'm going to type in if config, and I can see it's 192.168.137.150. Perfect. So let me pull up my um, RDP console here. So I have the IP address in here. So I'm going to click connect. And um, if you get prompted, just click yes here to continue. So let me just drag this over for us here and make this a little bigger. So this is all looking very good. So I'm just going to type in my username of Darren and I'll type in my CentOS password. And hopefully now we should be brought into the desktop. Okay, excellent. And we are here. We've now RDP'd into our CentOS machine. Um, if you encountered any difficulty following this tutorial, be sure to comment below, and if I can help, I certainly will. If you liked the video, please be sure to like, and for more videos like this, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.